All right, everyone, welcome back. Looking at blade reviews, Sutton Hu, the Picasaur. This one's pretty cool, more of a chopping blade. Uh, the handle's actually really killer on this one. Take a look at some specs, up close looks in the scabbard, out of the scabbard, then we'll do some cutting with it. Let's get to it. All right, overall length is 34 and 5 eighths inches. This one has a fuller running through it. It's gonna be kind of dirty because I did the cut testing for it already. But we have a big fuller running through it all the way until the very end of the tip here where the fuller cuts off. Which is very helpful because this blade is two pounds, 9.8 ounces. I'm sure it would be a lot heavier if the fuller was not running through it. We've got again, EN45 high carbon steel. This blade comes unsharpened. So you gotta add a sharpening service, have Mark work on that for you. Make sure you thank Mark for adding all the sharpening services to your blades because he's the one who's putting all the work in for that also so we can get blades for videos. The pommel on this one is nut and riveted. So we'll have some close-ups for this as well, but just so you can see it. The handle is really killer on this thing. It's supposed to be like stained glass. I'm sure it's not actually stained glass, but it sure looks like uh, some of the other migration era swords that I've seen. You'll see the two rivets right there. You'll also see it right in there as well. Handle's really solid. Um, the leather wrapped handle is really good. It's a oval handle. So as far as like chopping and cutting goes, it's really easy to maneuver with. The handle isn't super short. There is about a finger's distance from the end of the pommel. Gets you a better lighting view on that. So this looks like it's kind of like shoved against your hand, but it's not. You'll see it's about a finger's distance from the top here. Or if I choke up toward the actual hand guard with the thumb closed, you'll also have about a finger's distance between that. Scabbard on this one's pretty sweet. The uh, decoration on the tip of the scabbard very well complements the rest of the blade itself. You'll see similar work on the forefinger of the handle. And we also have for the scabbard, we have the loop. That way you can run through some cord. You can also do a sword hanger here, nice and smooth. That way if you are carrying this one, if you are dropping it below the belt, and you do want to be able to draw this as well, it's also there for you. All right, so let's go ahead and take us some look of this blade in the scabbard out of the scabbard, some up close looks at it, then we'll pan the cut testing. All right, here's the blade out of the scabbard. You see the handle is really killer on this. Get some contrast to it. All right, you'll see that the handle is actually really sweet on this. You can also take a look at the scabbard on the tip of it. We slide it up. A little belt notch for the sword. You can run a belt through there. Differing thicknesses and widths little piece of brass on the end of it here.
All right, so thanks for joining me for this blade review. Sutton Hu Sword by Depeka. Did some cuts with it. This one's definitely a big chopper, so you're looking for a choppy blade. Uh, we have that for this one right here. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. Topeka's been stepping up their game with products. Uh, this is a really, actually, really impressive handle. Looks really cool. Feels good in the hand. If you like it too, let me know in the comments. Subscribe. Talk to you soon.